speaking of, I gotta do some hole punching. Woo! Glamorous life of prepping for shows. Good morning, everyone. Um, just thought I'd vlog today. I'm not doing anything special. There's Sophie. Hi, Sophie. Hi. Um, yeah, nothing terribly exciting is happening today. I have a driving lesson, I have a dye day. I'm craving a particular kind of tea that they don't serve, or they don't sell, sorry, in any supermarket close to me, and it's not Bird and Blend. Um, it is Yorkshire Tea Biscuit Brew. So, I'm gonna go for a little walk to a supermarket this morning and pray to God it doesn't rain. It's not forecast. It is not forecast to rain. I mean, it is later, but not right now. It's not meant to rain till 12, so I'm gonna risk it and go for a walk. Because, um, I realise I don't do an awful lot of exercise, and so I've been trying to get better at that and exercise more. So, let's go. See, I see some people on Instagram go for walks, and they've got all these fields and scenery, or the seaside or something nice. I have an industrial estate <laughs> and it's grey it's just not very attractive kind of doesn't inspire you to go for a walk really oh well gotta do what you gotta do so I'm about a quarter of an hour away from my destination and it's just started to rain and I don't have an umbrella and I don't have a coat I'm gonna get wet I'm all this way in the rain for this tea. This one. That's it. That's the only reason I came. And I had to buy an umbrella because it's so wet. Well, I have my priorities straight. As soon as I get in, the kettle goes on and a cup of tea is made. But just over an hour before my driving lesson, so I'm going to enjoy this. Not that I needed to buy any more tea or spend any more money, but Tea Pig's Peppermint Tea. Oh, do you like my apron, by the way? It's Animal from The Muppets. Um, yeah, this was half price. It's usually four pounds something for 15 tea bags and I refused to pay that. But it was two pounds and seven p and I really like tea pigs peppermint tea. I've not tried Bird and Blend so I cannot pass comment but I just thought I'd treat myself because I got really wet in the rain. Really wet. Now I'm really hot and sweaty and delightful. Right, I better clear up my face and make myself look presentable before my driving lesson. My battery's been on charge, just briefly, because I didn't realise it had no battery. But, some days, I really can't be bothered to dye yarn at all. I just cannot be asked. And it's been alright so far, because when I can't be bothered to dye yarn, I can usually beat stitch markers. But I actually need to get some yarn dyeing done. So, my driving lesson is in like, three minutes. So I've put some yarn in to soak, so I have to dye when I get back. Have to. And yeah, I got caught in the rain. The umbrella I bought, I'm pretty sure is broken, but there weren't many. They were all taken out of their little outer sleeve, so people have been nicking them. So um, I live in a really nice part of Nottingham. Also, I need to have parcels to collect, and where I need to collect is the opposite direction to the way I went this morning. Ooh, I'm gonna try and fix whatever's happened with my chin makeup real quickly before my driving lesson. So I've just had my driving lesson. I'm gonna quickly run and get my parcel, because this is what I do apparently. I do everything except for Diane. Because someone has messaged me on Facebook, who is in France, saying that they've received 500 of my backing cards. Now I'm wondering if I'm going to receive their backing cards. We shall see. I might have to test out my French and contact Vistaprint and try and sort this. <sighs> what a fab. <laughs> I just need my cards. So I was convinced, I'm back. I was convinced that what had happened was that whatever he had ordered, I'd been sent and vice versa, but I've got my order. So there's 500 more of these somewhere. I don't know what to tell him to do. I might just tell him to return them. I'm guessing, because I don't really want to give a stranger my address. <sighs> what a faff. What a faff. 
And I mean, I say he's in France because he's written to me in French, but that doesn't necessarily mean he's in France. But I still don't really want to give anyone my address over the internet. I might just tell him to return them to the sender. Then they'll just get chucked out. Yeah, I'm gonna tell him to return them to the sender. You know, safety, safety first. This is a terrible angle. I'm trying to angle it so my face doesn't look as chunky as, um, you know, all the weight I recently gained is making it look. But um, it just means angles. Oh well. Oh God, now I've got to flex my French muscles. Ugh. J'ai pas parlé le français depuis... Ugh. Six ans, je crois. Oui. Wish me luck. <laughs> and I didn't think to do this in a sensible order. Get some pans on the hob and get dyeing and then while dye is taking, I can respond to that email. Come on, Hannah, come on. Do your thing, think. Also, I'm a bit sweaty. I'm really attractive. What does Mario see in me? So this is step one of Ice Dragon Wormling. I just need to let them sit, them cook, let them sit and cook for a bit because the water has not heated up at all. I'm a very professional dyer, can you tell? Okay, the message has been sent. And I do what I always do when I write in a foreign language. Well, obviously not during my degree, but I always write it in English as well as the language I intend <laughs> because I don't trust myself. Basically, I've said, don't really know what's happened because I've also got my cards because I do and um, I just said please return the cards to the sender's address or recycle them and you can also contact Vistaprint if you want I'm worried it sounds a bit patronizing but I don't want to give a stranger my address because I've clicked through on his profile and there's nothing that I can like look at Just beaucoup en français. Where is he? Saint Louis. Réunion. Where's that? I'd like to see it, please. Okay, so I don't even think it's France. I don't even think it's France. Oh, it's near Mauritius. <laughs> So he's not even in France. It's near Mauritius, just off the coast of Madagascar. So yeah, I'm not gonna give a stranger on the internet my address, regardless of where he is. You can just chuck him. I don't even understand how he got them, but I've got my cards, so that's fine. Right, speaking of, I gotta do some hole punching. Woo! Glamorous life of prepping for shows. Also I have another biscuit brew, because I just can't get enough. So, I had a friend message me and ask how I stop my skeins getting tangled when I'm dyeing them. Easy. I use reusable zip ties. You can get ones that are just one use, and yeah, I've started to pick off my nail varnish, so I um, need to actually take it off and repaint my nails before I bite them. But, um, you can get just one use ones and then you have to cut them off and chuck them out. And I did that for a bit and then I was like, what am I doing? By for a bit, I mean for about 20 skeins I did that. It's like, what am I doing? This is ridiculous, also a waste of money. So I've just got reusable ones. And they work really, really well for a really long time. Um, they've just started to snap a few of them, the thinner ones, because they've come in a couple of different thicknesses. Um, but overall, I've just thrown that on the floor. They're doing really well and they work really well. And yeah, they're reusable, which is, saves me money, time and the environment one zip tie at a time. Woo! Some more yarn in to soak because I'm going to be dyeing up some prismatic spray. And then phase two of Ice Dragon Wormling is underway. Oh, that's done. That's great. That's a great shot there, me. It's just steamy. But yeah, skeined up. They're in teal. Anyone that knows anyone who dies knows that teal is like the devil colorway and once it gets somewhere it gets everywhere so 
It's one of my fave colors to use. It means there's always teal somewhere. <laughs> right, I'm gonna do some hole punching, which sounds really boring, but it is. I might also watch the neat critical roll that went up yesterday. Also, I really want to take off my nail varnish. Oh my God. I hate, I hate, I hate not having perfect nails. It's a real problem. Just got prismatic spray at the oven. I got two trays of that happening. Round three of Ice Dragon Wormling is afoot. It's now skeined up and in um, navy dye. Now I've got navy back. Now I just need to wash these out. Ooh, so attractive. Ooh, such a color. So rainbow, very wow. And yeah, get about my day. was me cooking dinner and getting very stressed out about it because cooking is not relaxing to me. Also just chilled out with Mario, but it's now half past seven, so he is going to bed. Um, all the other stuff has been put away. Ice Dragon Wormling is a really long colorway to dye, but worth it, it's so beautiful. So I'm hoping to have a much more productive dye day tomorrow. And I've repainted my nails. I have used this base coat, which is Orly Bonder, it's a rubberized base coat. And then I've done two layers of just this collection nail varnish in a black shade. And then I have discovered indie nail varnish makers on Etsy, but I went onto the website. So this is Prism Polish UK, and this is in the color Prismatic. And it's just a really pretty shimmery, Let's see if I can get it to focus. You can't see it. This is the top coat. Ooh, so pretty. And yeah, I'm not very good at painting my nails at the moment. I'm out of practice. It's okay. Oh yeah, prism polish in the shade Prismatic. But trust me, it's a really pretty sparkly, holographic-y top coat, followed by Sesh Vite uh, to hopefully make it last somewhat longer. Um, I cannot wait until my nails grow over the end of my fingers, which they do do eventually. If you've watched my channel for a while, you know that they were there when I was in Germany. Um, but when I don't have my nails painted, I bite them. When I have my nails painted, I don't bite them. So when I first moved back, got my job in a cafe and couldn't paint my nails. My nails were gone. Um, and then I left the job and had my nails painted and they grew back and then I just stopped for some reason and then bit them all down again. So this is attempt number God knows how many of growing my nails. And um, yeah, the discovery of um, indie nail varnish makers, I don't know what the term is, is a dangerous one, I feel. I'm just trying to rearrange my hair so I have less curtain happening. Because um, it's more expensive than, say, buying that collection nail varnish. Obviously, it's going to be more expensive. Somebody has physically been making it. But it means that I can't treat myself to as many nail varnishes as I would like. So I need to stop looking at nail varnish online. I need to stop buying nail varnish. I need to have a clear out of nail varnish that I bought in Germany that's probably now gloopy. So I'm just going to sit 
and let this dry um, and watch because uh, I watched half of Critical Role earlier I have packaged all of my stitch markers yes there was no mad rush um, the guy that messaged me that received my business cards got back to me and told me pas de souci so I am not worried at all which is, it means don't worry uh, he's already contacted um, Vistaprint I think well he says he's already done that so I imagine he's already contacted Vistaprint about it um and yeah um i have worked out how much float i'm taking with me because that kind of maths just gets my brain confused so i have to speak it out loud with mario and yeah i've ordered some market apron it's all very exciting I'm flippy again because I got wet in the rain so I've just finished knitting my heel on my sock nest socks this is a pattern by Salapalooza Knits and the yarn is mine uh, as in chromatic yarns in my Dancing Lights sock set slightly concerned I'm not going to have enough for the toe but we shall see um I'll keep my fingers crossed but yes I'm past the heel now so I'm just the home straight for the foot and the toe and then that's another project finished because I cast those on on the train home from Edinburgh so what was that March I'm really good at finishing things but I hope that you've enjoyed the vlog today following me round and watching me go about my day. Like nothing terribly exciting has happened. I mean, we had the excitement with the guy in an island off the coast of Mauritius. That was the highlight of my day. Um, but I just quite enjoy vlogging every now and then. Like Vlogmas was fun. So maybe just every now and then I'll just vlog my day and whatnot. Even if it is a slightly boring day like today was. But it may makes it a bit more interesting when I have like a separate goal. Such as vlogging. But yes. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and what I bring to the table. Feel free to subscribe. I upload sometimes. I'm trying to get better and more frequent at it. Hence this. Um... Feel free to come and see me in Sheffield the 15th and 16th of June at the Fly DSA Arena um, for the Wool Monty, Sheffield's first yarn festival. Um, it's going to be massive. I'm stall 55, so please come see me. What else? If you'd like to follow me on social media, feel free. I'll pop it here. Um, and links are all in the description box below as well and with all that being said I'm going to go take off the remaining the remainder of my makeup and go to bed <sighs> it's only half past ten it's not even a late one but thank you very much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video bye